One afternoon in September 1994, James Holder, president of the Dublin Lawrence branch of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, and Laura Irwin, president of the Dublin Lawrence Black Festival Committee, met outside the Dublin Post Office. After a short general conversation, Mr. Holder asked Miss Irwin what she thought about organizing a Martin Luther King Jr. parade in Dublin, Georgia. Miss Irwin told Mr. Holder that she had been seriously thinking about the possibility of a Martin Luther King Jr. parade being organized in Dublin. After an exchange of ideas centered on the possibility of a Martin Luther King Jr. parade being organized here in Dublin, Mr. Holder and Miss Irwin agreed to discuss the idea with the members of their organization. Discussions were held and the members of both organizations accepted the idea. Committees from the two groups were formed and held their first meeting on October 31st, 1994. The first parade was held on Saturday, January 14th, 1995 in downtown Dublin, Georgia. Dr. John T. Wolfe, president of Savannah State College, served as the first Grand Marshal. The event has taken place every year since on the Saturday before Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, into the studio today, Ms. Laura Irwin, Mr. James Holder. Welcome to you so much in uh, a happy new year to both of you. Thank you. Every year. 2019. Yeah. Gosh, you think back, I can think back when I was a child, and, and who would have thought 2000, but much less 2019, <laughs> and, and, and here we oh, are. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what great progress it has been made. Super progress. That's super progress. Yes. We've been able to come together on a lot. We have a long right. way to go. Yes. Right. We really do, but we, but, right. but we have come a long way. Oh, yes. right. You have to count your accomplishments, don't right. you? Oh, yes. Right. Oh, yes. Right. Yes. Oh, yes. Right. So the genuine happiness that you see here on the, the set today is, is just that. It is genuine out of these two Christian people. I, I enjoy the opportunity anytime I have to, to sit and talk with you all and to be able to share about the wonderful event coming up in just a few days. Yes, uh, Martin days. Luther King Jr. Parade, the 25th, the 25th. here 25th. in our fair town. The 25th. Right. Right. Mr. Holder, how's that make you feel? It made me feel real good. Uh, you, you know, it was just it coming up in Dublin. And, uh, you know, that's one thing that I went to see. You know, unity. We coming to get, come together and, and do do things together and see the city grow. Uh, I always loved Dublin, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I was just glad for the opportunity. You know, to bring certain, bring a, a event like this to to town that has grown in all over the years. Yeah, and uh, we've really been blessed. It started off on a rainy day, just like today. <laughs> With the Lord with us, yes. As the chief asked us, uh, chief group way asked us that we were to cancel. Mm -hmm. It was though we going on. <laughs> we gotta go on. And we've been going on ever since. Yes, sir. And we've been blessed because it's been growing mm -hmm. each year. Now, out of twenty five years, I, I believe. Uh, I, well, I know that I came on with with uh, the station in nineteen ninety nine October, and one of the first things I did was call you, Mr. Holder, you know, when right, we spoke about right, getting right. the parade on, on the right. air and being able to share yeah, it with right, everyone. Right, and, uh, right. So we're working on about whatever, 17, 18, 18, 18 years now of being right. able to broadcast that. And, and it's our privilege to do so. It's thrilling to be able to to be able to come out and share in that day and then not only share it now with modern technology right. with people locally, but all over the internet, right. all right. over the nation, yes. right. people able to watch our uh, Martin yeah, Luther King right. Parade, the second largest in the state of Georgia, right. uh -huh. only surpassed right. by Atlanta. Uh -huh. 175 plus floats in the past and, and most recent years. And that very first year, I think there was probably a little less than 175 that year, wasn't it? Was right, it was less. It sure was. <laughs> yeah. it, was it was a lot less. Yeah, yeah. a lot yeah. less. What right. a great start, a, a wonderful, anything that's positive, the Lord will bless. Bless. Uh, right. He sure will. Is. If we'll do our part. Right, that's right. right. He's sure to do his. Right. And we were thinking right. on that day, um, <clears throat> what Dr. King went through. He didn't back down when things got tough. No. He went ahead and even to the point of making the sacrifice of giving his life. Yes, he did. Yes. Yeah. So we could get wet in the rain. <laughs> yeah, that's the least. Yeah. But when we look at that positive uh, um, example for us, mm -hmm. to keep things 
uh, non-aggressive and positive but strong. Yes. And, and when you say uh, someone is not aggressive or, or not combative, that doesn't mean they're weak. No. Right. Not in any way. Right. Look at Christ, our right. example. Mm -hmm. Look at Reverend King who followed mm -hmm. that That's example. One, not being combative is one, in my way of thinking, is one of the examples of being strong. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. ma'am. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You're in control. Yes. Right. You don't lose control and get combative. You're in control right. of right. who you are. Nobody's right. going to change that, are they? No, sir. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. no, sir. And, and you see the wonderful example that we do have here, ladies and gentlemen. Again, you can see why I like to, to sit down and share this each and every year and be able to bring to you the information about the parade coming up and encourage you, if you're not already registered, to be able to go online. You can go online at visit DublinGA.org. Um, you can call Either one of these fine people will give you the phone numbers on the screen. You call them, they'll get you an application. They'll take your entry fee. They'll right. get you in line on that, that fair day, and, and it's going to be a wonderful Perfect. parade. Right. Now, yes. this year as our host, we'll be able to have uh, Derek Chapman and Pat Brock yes. to be hosting the parade this year. We're so proud, again, to be able to, to film and, and put that together in, in all its uh, greatness, and it, it truly is a wonderful parade. Right. And each year you all do such a good job in bringing right. in a, a master of ceremonies for us. Let's talk about who it is this year, Miss Irwin. You mean our, our Grand Marshal. Our Grand Marshal. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, our Grand Marshal is one of our very um, well uh, celebrated. He's a hardworking young man. He's a local man. Grew up on uh, North Cater Street here in Dublin, Georgia. That's where the family was living when I came to Dublin. And that uh, entire family has worked hard and uh, from the father and mother, and they uh, made sure their children were well prepared for, for future living. And this gentleman is none other than Sheriff Ira Edwards, Jr. He is the sheriff in Clark County, Athens, Georgia. It is. It is. Athens, Georgia. It is. Your dog. It is. Yeah. It is. And uh, Rev, uh, <laughs> uh, Sheriff Ira Edwards will be our Grand Marshal. Mm -hmm. And we will hear and see more about him later in our newspaper. Mm -hmm. But we, we have a, a super gentleman who's coming in to share with us, and we greatly appreciate it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we do. Now, Sheriff Edwards. Um, grew up here, you know a little bit more about him. Uh, Mr. Holden, about his family, I believe uh, Pat Edwards is his sister. We right, all know right. her in our community. There are right. others. Uh, Diane. Mm -hmm. Diane, Diane O'Neill. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Uh, yeah, in, in fact, we go way back uh, uh, when, when he was coding their mother. We, uh, he and my mother was members, of, his family and my mother was members of the same church. Uh -huh. And uh, he used to come over, Reverend Edwards, mm -hmm. with father. father. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right. Oh. And so he was—he is a superintendent for a Church of God here. Right, a Church of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. He went on and started his own church uh, on three nineteen, uh, mm -hmm. and did good. Uh, and, and this is part of the family, part of the the people who have uh, restored and taken the old B.D. Perry School? Oh, yes. yes they right. are owners of it now, mm -hmm. and they keep it up well and have outstanding programs there. Mm -hmm. They really do. Yeah. What a great service uh, and opportunity for them to help our community right. to keep that landmark up for us as we talked about right. uh, Millville School doing the same thing. Right. Same Those thing. former students coming together to preserve our history. Yes, so right. important. So very important. Right. It is. Right. And when you see so many buildings uh, that have been torn down in the past and then we look and we say, my Lord, how did we let that happen? Mm -hmm. yes, right. and we learn from what we did wrong right. sometimes. Right. We, yes. we want to not make that right. mistake again. again. We want to right. preserve. Absolutely. And I love to go to programs. I haven't been out to BD Perry for anything, but Millville, I've been there two or three or four times. And it's a great facility. It's in great shape. 
yeah. the yes. kitchen you got there, and I've eaten some wonderful food through oh, there too, yeah. you know. And, and I right. really enjoyed, <laughs> <laughs> enjoyed myself greatly out there. Right. But uh, we want to come together again as a community, ladies and gentlemen. We want to be a part of the 25th annual Martin Luther King Jr. Parade here in Dublin, Georgia. Yes. And, and this year, our Grand Marshal again, uh, uh, Sergeant Edwards, a lifetime of service, his family, an example throughout our community. Uh, something for, for us to really look at and evaluate. What a great example for our young people. And right. isn't that what it's all about? Oh, yeah. Isn't that yeah. what it's all about, Mr. Oda? You remind us right. each and every year how important it is to let our young people know because right. Right. as time moves on right. and as, right. as, uh, as things change, sometimes you, you kind of forget about history if you don't right. keep having a look at right. it. Absolutely, positively. Right. Absolutely, right. positively. And, and it, it, it's, it's, reach, it's moving on out to other candidates that want to do the same. Uh, I had the opportunity to go to a county nearby uh -huh. and uh, help them lay out, you know, what they need to do to get one started. Mm -hmm. in, in a county nearby this year. They a parade? Parade. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Good. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good, Mr. Holder. Um, let's think through the years, Mr. Holder. It's been a little challenging at times. Life's been challenging, though, hasn't it? It has been yeah. challenging, uh, uh, but the Lord been good. Uh, I had some illnesses, and, mm. and uh, but he always striking me up. Seemed like at this time, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and, and, and to be a part of something so worthwhile, Mr. Holder, right. gives us a lot of times energy. Uh, it gives us a reason to to get stronger, doesn't it? It, it does. It yeah. does. Yeah. And uh, I just enjoy the, uh, seeing the people come out and enjoy mm -hmm. when we turn that corner. And, well, you, you know, when we start off and see all those people, you oh, know, it just, yeah. it's just a special feeling. Yeah. And when we turn on Jackson Street, mm -hmm. it is a special feeling. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. you, you know, and it's just sitting that the people enjoy and can have a part and feel a part of it. Uh, you, you know, we invite everybody. We have, we have all different people coming to be. Be able to take a part. So let's talk about the bands, because sometimes the bands are just exceptionally well. They, you, you know, you can't have a parade without a band, can no, you? No. <laughs> and we have several that will be involved again this year. Our local uh -huh. high schools will be involved. Yes, sir. And we have um, Twigs County Band coming in. Good. We have a band coming in from, we called in, um, Wilkinson County has yeah. a band coming in. Right. And where is that Savannah one? State. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Savannah, Savannah State. State. Coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, one of our standby. Yes. They right. have been with us for many, many years. And, and uh, we're probably going to have Fort Valley come back. Again. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. And uh, what was the band from I took in the other night? <laughs> is it my day yet? Uh, I think one is coming in from my day. Right, there you go. Okay. I think I, Good. I think I remember that. Good. Mm -hmm. It'll add so much to the day. And, really? and of course, we'll have floats. Uh, we'll have uh, vehicles. Whatever you would like to be a part of, whatever you would like to enter, you need to get in touch. We've given you the phone numbers, giving you a way to get that uh, entry form. It's going to be a wonderful year. Celebrate 25 years. 25 years, 25 years right. Yeah. Yeah, what an accomplishment. So, Mr. Holder, uh, what have you seen through the years that's really been such a good change, I hope, for our community right here in Dublin, in our town? Right. Well, you, you know, uh, I, I started off working downtown at Oaks Drugstore at a young age, and I worked at Bell Matthew, which was on the corner. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, I could, I could interact with people and see people. Uh, you, you know, it was a lot of places that we couldn't go in at that time and be seen. Oh. But uh, you, you know, so I seen I seen all that change. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you know, I didn't really really feel welcome there, but I could really feel welcome now. Amen. Hearts have changed. Hearts have changed, and uh, and it's and it's changing more each year. Yeah. Bring about a change. Mm -hmm. And, and how do we keep that going, though, Mr. Holder? I mean, I know it's through events like this, but what do you say to young people? Because everybody doesn't, you know, we get agitated sometimes. We all have to keep ourselves in check Absolutely. at times. Right. When, when we don't see things that are being fair, yeah. 
Yes. You know, right. Sometimes we want to lash out. <clears throat> yes. Right. How, how do we control that? What, what do we do with that, y'all? Well, we um, can always tell them to look at the life of uh, Dr. King. He was always loving. In regards to what happened, he did not strike back with uh, nonviolence. Yes, with violence. He was nonviolent. Right. Yeah. Nonviolent. But there are, uh, you just have to ha learn to handle yourself. And a lot of times when you resist violence, other people will back down. Yeah. They don't know what to do with that. That's right. That's not carnal. That's not natural. That's, you know, we... We expect people, if I'm, you know, against you, you're supposed to be against me. And, yes. you know, that's why we hold Dr. King up mm -hmm. right. as the example, because it worked. Yes. Right, right. If something works, have a look. Yes. Right. yes. Don't try to change it if it's Don't working try, right. I mean, it, if it's that successful, right. that major. Not only did it affect here in, in uh, Atlanta and Georgia, but Alabama and throughout Mississippi, mm -hmm. throughout the entire nation and world. Right. Right. So, and approach people with kindness. Right. With kindness. Right. Mm -hmm. it, can, you, it might be a person that has done real ugly things, but you be kind. Be kind to people. And a lot of times that works. Mm -hmm. They uh, don't expect it, and they just... Come on over and be kind yeah. in return. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, and I see that in, in a lot of young people because a lot of uh, young people is is spo exposed to nonviolent. Then uh, you know, now we, it, it kind of got a pattern. Like I said, to go, uh, we can teach nonviolent, and, and I attend some of those workshops and all, and mm -hmm. see some of the young people and see how much. It is affecting their life. Yeah. Nonviolent. Yeah. And you just keep being an example, don't keep you? Keep being an example, right. And yeah. keep teaching. Yeah. Yeah. Each one teach one. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right. And so, uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, we love to have these two people in here. They, they got young hearts and young smiles and, and a lot of years of service in our community that have benefited so many of us. So, we like to have you in and be able to to take note, to acknowledge uh, the accomplishments. 25 years, and this is just one thing y'all involved with, but 25 years of service on this is, is really appreciated by our community, so. Right. And, and like Ms. Hole said a while ago, we owe uh, our success to the community. We cannot right. do it alone. Our committee cannot do it alone. It is the success really comes from the involvement from our citizens and uh, the people who come in and uh, take part in the parade. We have our banks, our elected officials, our churches, mm -hmm. our schools, our law enforcement, everybody, we all come together and we appreciate that because we could not have a parade with Mr. Hole and myself and the rest of our committee walking down the street. That wouldn't right. be a parade. So mm -hmm. we see the success come from our neighbors and our supporters. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate that. More and more people want to be a poet. Mm -hmm. And again, this year, you know, as our community grows, the monument that was erected oh, uh, yeah. at First AB Church. Uh, we mentioned about right. Rebecca earlier, right. and the work that she's done. Share a little bit more about it, Mr. Holden. Uh, yes, Ms. Re Rebecca Johnson with the tourists. Uh, she has did a tremendous job with bringing resources in and getting the word out about the Martin Luther King uh, Monument. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's been a great asset to us. Yes, yes, right. she has. And so that's going to she's going to be the honorary expert. That's why she's been being honored. Wonderful. And we would like to say that the um, um, that monument is erected there, honoring Dr. King, because that is the church where he made his first public speech. Right. In 1944, I believe, at age of 15, 
And the title of his speech was The Negro and the Constitution. And uh, it's good to read about it. And believe it or not, I, I think I read where he said, on the way back to Atlanta, he and his teacher had to give up their seat on the bus. I think that's what I read. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness times have changed, oh, and yes. we are where we are. That's right. We and are. we're able to say for 25 years, Dublin, Lawrence County has had a parade, Martin Luther King Jr. parade, on or about the 19th, and that's when it is this year. Oh, on the 19th, yes. high noon. Right, we're going right. to be out there. We'll pray for good weather, right. but we'll take what comes. Right, right, <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I want to public thank I have a committee that we Works real hard, Miss Everett and myself. Mm -hmm. We got a good committee. We have an They've been with us over the years. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, we work a lot of, we give up a lot of hours after the sun goes down, working together for this event. Mm -hmm. And uh, like we said, we just so proud that mm -hmm. the our uh, neighbors, friends, and our supporters, well wishes come in and. And help us yeah. support us. Yes, ma'am. We right. couldn't do it without them. Right. Right. Miss sir, when it's a fruit of labor, and, and all the work goes in, and then on that day, the there yeah. it is. There's the fruit of the labor. Right. All that hard work that the committee does. That, yes. that right. you all, uh, you have to instigate. You have to do it. You have to get right. out and work. Like you say, you got to put in those hours late and yes, sir. into the evening. And, oh yes. Right. <laughs> oh right. yes. And we, we also realize that when we see those beautiful floats and the marching bands and all go marching down the street, we know that they, too, have made some great sacrifices. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. They, too, mm -hmm. have made some great sacrifices. Mm -hmm. We're looking forward to a wonderful year this year to celebrate right. that 25th right. anniversary. 25th right. anniversary. Right. So you want to mark your calendars now, ladies and gentlemen, for the 19th at 12 o'clock about a three-hour parade uh, or an events right, there, right. and make your way around this year and, and visit the monument. If you've been there before, go again on that special right. day, oh, yes. right? And right. Uh, and lift up those efforts. And when you speak to Rebecca, you know, thank her for what she's done in our community and Absolutely. and these fine people here in that committee, and of course the Grand Marshal, uh, mm -hmm. Sergeant of Arms for the National Sheriffs Association and Sheriff in Clark County, Georgia. Sheriff Ira Edwards right, Jr. Right. Uh, again, to be the right. Grand Marshal, try to shake yes. his hand as well, make him right. make him know how proud we are of him and what Absolutely. he's done, right. not only in our community but here right. in the state. Right. In the state right. of Georgia. Mm -hmm. right. Well, thank you all for your work. Thank you for your efforts, you. and and really, ladies and gentlemen, mark your calendars and phone numbers again on the screen of uh, the location to get the application online. All you have to do is fill that out, send it back in, get your entry fee, and we'll be ready for a great parade on right, the 19th, yeah, we won't we? Right, right. Any other things to mention at this time? I think we've covered it all. Well, we want to thank you and your station ah. for having us here. Mm -hmm. It's always a pleasure to be here with you. Indeed, it is a pleasure right. to be with right. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you next time right here on TV 35.